Auto Line on the Road from CES in Las Vegas is brought to you by our signature sponsor, ZF. See, think, act. And also by Gentex, a smarter vision. And by Magna. At CES, Ford and Qualcomm made a very important announcement about vehicle safety. I've got Jason and Brennan here talking about CVTX, and why don't you explain what is CV2X? So CV2X is cellular vehicle to everything communication using a cellular network. So it's cars communicating amongst themselves, number one, and number two is cars communicating to infrastructure. So you're seeing cooperation amongst cars over that channel. Even though it's cellular, these, these signals are not going to towers and then coming back, it's vehicle to vehicle or to the infrastructure. Right, it's vehicle to vehicle, so even if you're in a remote area, then you wouldn't necessarily need a cell phone tower, the vehicles can talk to themselves. They make their own network. And what was it that Ford exactly announced that it's going to do with this technology? So Ford announced that effective 2022, that we would deploy CV2X in our vehicles, uh, pending favorable regulatory environment, so we put a, a stake in the sand there. Will this deploy across all models in that year, or is it going to be a slower rollout, or how will that work? It's yet to be determined, but like a lot of technologies, it usually takes a little bit to roll out. Yeah. Jason, what's Qualcomm's role in all this? So Qualcomm and Ford have been uh, longtime uh, partners on uh, technology innovation. And um, Qualcomm is the technology innovator and uh, solution provider for CV2X. Uh, we don't work alone. We work with a very large contingency of uh, uh, industry participants from the cellular world. Um, and uh, we are proud here at this demonstration to be supporting uh, Ford, Audi, and Ducati with uh, the technology needed to allow cars to talk amongst the, uh, themselves. And Brennan, explain exactly what the demonstration is here on the different vehicles that Jason just mentioned. So you're seeing cooperation amongst vehicles. So what you saw was the negotiation of a four-way stop, which is problematic at best for U.S. drivers. So as the vehicles were approaching the four-way stop, then they were communicating amongst themselves without the humans in the vehicle intervening. And the vehicles were deciding which vehicle had the right-of-way. So that vehicle would get the green and the other vehicles would get the red. And then explain uh, the motorcycle blowing through the stop sign and how that all works. Right, that's a safety use case with vehicle to vehicle communication. So what you saw was the motorcycle didn't obey the algorithm that said that it had to stop. So the other vehicles received what we call a motion alert so or, or an intersection movement alert that there was a rapidly approaching vehicle that they needed to pay attention to. And Jason, this works beyond just cars and motorcycles talking to each other, right? There, there's an element of the infrastructure. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that, especially with pedestrians? Yes, absolutely. So this technology comes as we uh, start to embrace global adoption of 5G cellular communications all around the world. And as these new technology innovations happen, the automotive industry is one of the first that will be really embracing some of the new features. So um, in addition to vehicle vehicle communications for safety and for collision avoidance and for intention sharing, uh, we're also starting to look after other vulnerable road users, bicyclists, pedestrians. And today we, we will do it uh, using um, the pedestrian crosswalks, we'll start to have technology that we're showing in the showcase uh, where we can use camera technology to identify pedestrians and we're also looking at how we can leverage the smartphone that most pedestrians walk around with to identify their presence to ensure that we don't have collisions there either. That was going to be my next question. So this can actually uh, gravitate towards phones so if somebody steps off the sidewalk into the street the phone would be alerting other cars that they're doing that. Yeah, so we've done demonstrations uh, that have taken us to the White House over the last couple of years to showcase what we call V2P, vehicle to pedestrian. Uh, and it's something very dear to a lot of people that we've spoken with uh, in the U.S. and throughout the world uh, because there is a lot of fatality that is unnecessary uh, between motored vehicles and other uh, users of sidewalks and roads. Very good. So. 2022, we start to see this 
Uh, China has a mandate for this kind of technology running. I, I got to believe that this is going to be kind of commonplace in the future. Well, we'd like it to be, and like we're showcasing here with Audi, Qualcomm, and Ducati, we like manufacturers to cooperate to bring the safety use cases to the market. Real good. Thanks for your time. Very interesting technology. You guys are going to save a lot of lives. And I, actually, I want to say, I want to say one more thing. I have small children at home. I don't think that I'll be able to convey to them that cars at one point in time didn't talk to each other because I think it will be understood that why, well, why wouldn't they? Well, good. Thanks again, guys. Much appreciated. Autonomous driving, sensor power, cloud-based connectivity. ZF, shaping next generation mobility.